Hello guys, Dr. Carlo here. I had a question on RVU billing and critical care. It came from one of the persons who bought the course and thought the course was awesome, but they had this one question. So he said, I'm finished the course and had a question hoping you could help with. If I bill for 10 minutes of critical care time, does that automatically bump the chart to a level five? Please let me know and thank you so much. So the answer is yes, you can document just 10 minutes of critical care time. So if you did critical interventions, go ahead and document as critical care time, even if you spend 10, 12, 15 minutes. So it won't be enough time to build for the critical care billing code, but you are correct. By doing that, the chart automatically will bill at the highest level, which is a level five. So if the patient was really critical and you didn't have time to get a family social history, you didn't have a review systems, you didn't have a t um, eight system physical exam, then you're fine because by documenting critical care, that chart will be built at the highest level. Now, I don't recommend you doing this just to bump up every chart because then your critical care billing will go way up, which will be a red flag to billers and in and, and the future. Um, so I wouldn't do that just for that purpose, but certainly if it's a patient who's very, very sick, like for example, a STEMI. STEMIs arrive, blah, 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 the cardiologist comes down, they carry them off, and you didn't have time to do a family social history, you didn't have time to do an a eight level system physical exam, um, you barely got an HPI. So you can document critical care time because of the interventions, what you order on the patient, and therefore you still get a level five on that patient even though you didn't spend the time. Now I would argue that in a lot of these cases you do spend the 32 minutes, 31 minutes that you need for critical care because the time will include times writing the charts, time review medical records, if you talk to the cardiologist about the patient, if you review their catheterization report and the interventions done, if those uh, steps were done to aid in your documentation and further the care of the patient, then it's totally billable at, a high, uh, at the time that you accumulated doing all those things for critical care, the full minutes to take place. So hopefully that answers your question. The answer is yes. If you document less than 30 minutes of critical care time, but you still write your critical care note, then that chart automatically will be built at a highest level, which is a level five. So I hope that answered your question. Thank you for buying the product and send me all the questions you have about RVU and billing and I will do my best to answer those questions for you. Take care guys, bye-bye.